chickens for us. Come on, man. Blow, baby, blow. I thought you were full of hot air, Reed. <laughs> come on, Reed. <laughs> They're treat candles, Spence, OK? They, they're going to come back on every time. <laughs> oh, mommy to the rescue. Mommy. <laughs> Ignore him. Isn't it amazing he knows what he knows and he's only 24? Reed, does it make you legal yet? Imagine what he'll know by 50. Hope you like chocolate. <laughs> Agent Hot, oh, sir. Look, you blew wax on the cake, man. <laughs> You having fun? Yes, definitely. I'm definitely having fun. Make a wish? Can I take this hat off? I wouldn't. Hey, Spence. First piece for the birthday boy. You know, she's the only person in the whole world who calls me Spence. Spence, <laughs> It's not that hard. A Dalmatian can do it. Let go. Let go! <laughs> I feel better. I think you got the message. We go in five, four, All clear. Shakespeare wrote, nothing is so common as the wish to be remarkable. You right? Nice shot. I was aiming for his leg. I wouldn't have kept kicking, but I was afraid you didn't get my plans. I got your plan the minute you moved the hostages out of my line of fire. Well, I hope it didn't hurt you too badly. Hotch, I was a 12-year-old child prodigy in a Las Vegas public high school. You kick like a nine-year-old girl. Now keep it. As far as I'm concerned, you passed your qualification. You're not the only one who identifies with him. You said I was a high school jock. I was. But not at first. My freshman year, I was five foot three. <laughs> I weighed a buck twenty soaking wet, so trust me when I tell you I got my ass kicked every day. So the following summer, I hit the weights. And I got lucky, I grew six inches. But it was never about vanity, Reed. It was about survival. <clears throat> I was in the library, and uh, Harper Hillman comes up to me, and she tells me that uh, Alexa Lisbon wants to meet me behind the field house. Alexa Lisbon's like easily the prettiest girl in school. <laughs> so what happened? Alexa wasn't there? And she was there. So was the entire football team. They. Stripped me naked and tied me to a goal post. So many kids were there, you know, just watching. Nobody tried to stop them. I begged, I begged them to, but they just, they just watched. And finally they got bored and they left. It's like midnight when I finally got home and my mom didn't. Mom was having one of her episodes, so she didn't even realize I was late. <laughs> you never told her what happened? Never told anybody, I thought. It's one of those things that I thought if I didn't talk about it, I'd just forget. But I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, Reed, you don't need an eidetic memory for that. You know, we forget half of what they teach us in school, but when it comes to the torment and the people who inflicted it, 
We've all got an elephant's memory.